Y'all sit here and tell us that it's acceptable to increase the police budget and it's acceptable to cut after school programming. You are crazy. Because we ain't standing for it. We know that what you put out is obnoxiously foul. But you won't invest four million in our children. Cut the two million dollars that's going into a capital reserve. Then you cut the SWAT team. The SWAT team only used nine percent of its budget last fiscal year. Nine percent, I don't know what the total was, but let's say it was a million. And they only used nine percent. That's 900,000 right there. That's two million back there. You want more? There's a $26 million allocation for overtime up front. What organization does that? Puts money aside for overtime in advance. Y'all better get this budget straight. It is obnoxiously foul and you know it. Don't sit here and lie to us. Don't sit here and cheat our children. They deserve a whole lot better. And if you want to have a detailed conversation about what other areas of the budget can be cut, I'm standing here. Let's make some time to do that. Good evening. Thanks for the opportunity to speak. My name is Gretchen Legrand. I'm the executive director of Code in the Schools, a nonprofit focused on computer science education for Baltimore City youth. And I'm asking that you please restore the $4.2 million in funding for community schools and after school programs. Because of last year's funding, we were able to significantly expand our after school programs in underserved neighborhoods that desperately needed it. In our programs, kids from age four are learning to code. They're learning electrical engineering, robotics, and they're building games and applications in JavaScript, a professional software development language. Learning that computers and devices are not just for watching YouTube videos and playing games, but about creating new things, applications, and programs that will solve the problems they see in the world and in their communities is vital to level the playing field for our city. We do professional development all over the state, and I see firsthand what our private school and county school peers have access to, and it makes me so sad that our youth in Baltimore City, who have so much potential, will have yet another opportunity taken from them, and once again have their access denied. Our children should be the number one budget priority because the return on that investment is so much higher than any tax breaks we give developers and the opportunities we deny them will cost us so much more than $4.2 million in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, uh, council members. Uh, basically, the people have spoken and uh, the people will hope that y'all make the right decision because if not, then the pour over can happen. Don't get it twisted, it will happen again. If you put these, un if you put these uneducated kids out here in these streets, they will get swallowed up. I advocate for the children, and I advocate for the homeless, and I advocate for those brothers on the corner that don't want to be on that corner. They want, they want something better, they want something different, they want, they want change. And if y'all go hit it, just, well, let's, let's, let's get this understood. We have a uh, scale. We have police brutality and enforcement being invested in and education down here. That's a, that's a bad scale. Yeah. That's a very bad scale. So just remember the people that put y'all in that position that y'all in. Y'all have, have, have an accountability to, have to these people, to us as a city. We're not a city right now. We're not feeling charmed. We feel like y'all are taking advantage and doing what y'all want to do. That's how we feel. That's how I got, and I heard everybody. I, that's how I got. So I hope y'all make the right decisions with y'all. Thank you. Yeah, speaking, me speaking up here right now is a goal that I have for the future because I can be, I want to be an editor, um, an animator, um, and um, a speaker one day. And I, they help me, my friend Asia, Jessica, Ms. Kara, um, we all got um, little nicknames for each other and it's very fun. I got a lot of friends there. So thank you for your time and I hope you really, 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 <laughs> <laughs> really consider this and I want y'all to add more to them. I don't want y'all to try and I want y'all to give back but I need y'all to add more to it so we can have more um more in our program please. Woo! Woo!